Sen on maksanut kysyä pelin uuri ja opas myös sabasin kakkalas. Anotan, anotan nyt passuri myös Santeksi tai Tessin tilalle. And today's lesson. Sorry. I enter is Jonah. Not Jonah, sorry. It's about hell. Now you see hell. People think it's a man made construct. It was created. Hell was created. Put fear mongering into the room. Roman Catholic back then and now it was also made for money the reason why I made it for money because they were like oh sell tickets to heaven that's what they're trying to do and there's a word for it I can't remember what it was but there's a other place they, they, want, they want to sell tickets to heaven or you ain't going you ain't going to heaven you ain't going to hell truly is basically the Roman Catholic way of getting a get rich quick scheme and get more people to donate tithes, stuff like that. <laughs> Truly, the hell where people believe it's like a bad place where they could, they're all down there with pitchforks and devils and shit. You're like you're burning a, in the pit of fire for eternity. That isn't real. It isn't real. It's man made. It's it's a uh, it's a fairy tale. It scared the kids to be good, like like Santa Claus. But I'm going to prove it though, this is Jonah 2 and verse 1. <laughs> so let me get pizza on Jonah real quick. Jonah was commanded to, to, be, to prophesy. Let me back on these again real quick. And let's read. Now the word, of Je, word of the most that came unto Jonah, the son of Amatai, saying, Go to Nebevah the great city and cry against it for the wickedness is come up before me but now Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarnish Tarnish the presence of the Most High and fled down went to Jop Jopa and found a ship that was going to Tar Tarnish for he paid it paid the fare thereof and went down un into it to go to the presence to come, sorry, to go with them and to tarnish in the presence of the Most High. So, what was happening, right? Basically, Jonah was, Jonah was like, commanded the Most High to crop something into the nation. Jonah tried to flee. Yeah, I'll just keep reading, man. Let the scripture be for itself. Not that long, huh? <laughs> The manners were like verse four. But most I said, a great wind in this sea. Basically, a, it's okay. Basically, a, hur a hur hurricane. Say the grand sent a great wind on the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was was like to be broken. <laughs> but the manners were. The readers were afraid and cried out to his, unto his power, his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the, in the ship into the sea to line it, line it up them. The Jodo was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came, came to him and said unto him, what meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy power, if it be thy and thy God will, will think upon you that we perish not. <laughs> and, so, and everyone said, and then said every one to his fellow, Come and let us cast cast lots that were that we may know. <laughs> For who caused this evil? It fell upon us. So they cast lots, and the lots fell upon Jonah. <laughs> then they sent them to tell us, we pray thee, for what ca caused this evil upon us? What was thy occupation? Where comest thou? Or thy country? What are, are pe what and what people are thou? <laughs> and they said to him, I am a Hebrew, I fear the Most High, the God of heaven, which have made the the land 
suck at the sea and the dry land. Then the men were exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Why, why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Most High because he had told them. Then he said unto him, What shall we do unto thee that the sea may be calm to us? For the sea is rotten and was temperous. And he said unto them, Take me up. And cast me forth unto the sea, so shall I, shall the sea be calm unto you? For I am, I know for that second, I know that for my sake the great temper is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rowed hard to bring it into land, but they could not bring it. But okay, for the sea is wrought and the tempest against them. Wherefore they they cry unto the most. To the most high, said, We beseech thee, O Yahweh, O we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and let us not let it not upon us innocent blood, for thou, O Yahweh, hast done as it pleased. <laughs> so they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from his raging. Then the men feared the, feared the most high exceedingly, and offered sacrifice unto the most high many vows. Now the Mosai had prepared a fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Now I basically summarize that all. Basically, man. So Jonah tries to try to flee the Mosai, and Mosai sent a hermit king to fuck with them. And the men on the ship, they just fucking threw him off, off the ship. The men, the men, what they did was not wrong at all. They're in a complete right, man. Throw John off that ship. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, why'd you do that? <laughs> no, they're in a complete right. You want to clarify that. Now, verse 2. <coughs> Jonah, then Jonah prayed unto the Mosai, his power out of the fit. Out. It's like, Out unto this power of the fish belly, and he cried by reason of my affliction unto the Most High, and he have heard of me out of the belly and cried, I, I said, Out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou hearest my voice. <laughs> now, that whole belly that wasn't actually a real, a real hell, man. Not like people believe that, like, there's not no whole depot. Pocket dimension where hell exists in this in this fish, bro. You know, like, like what he just teleported there? No, man. What it means is hell is that he was going through like a oh, shit, bro. He he was going through the testings of it, man. It's all slobbery. It's not like that. It can't get out. Can't move. That isn't pleasant. No, man, that's it. it. Ain't pleasant. I just mean all all. I don't know how visionary works. I'm gonna try and that's the way it's scan. Like being like going down is like it's like it's esophagus or what it has. All slimy and mucus or something like that, bro. That's not that shit ain't nice nice to be in. <laughs> and said and said I cried by the reason my affliction unto the most high because he had heard me out of the belly of hell, I cried I and thou hear my voice. Thou hast ca has cast me into the deep in the midst of the seas. The flood compassed me about. All the billows of, the, of thy ways passed over me. Then said I, I am cast out of the sight, yet I will look again toward my holy temple. The, most, the waters compassed me about, even to the souls. The dip have closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars were about me forever. Yet thou hast thou brought me from up from my life from corruption, O you have my power? My soul fainted from with within me. I remember the most sight and my prayer came came in upon me upon thee. 
Den här håller tappen. They that observe lion vanities forsake their own mercy, but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that is what I that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Most High. And the Most High speak unto the fish and Jonah and, took it, and vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. <laughs> and the word of the Most High came upon Jonah the second time. Arise, go to Neva, a great city. I I preach unto thee, the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose, went into Neva, according to the world, word of Mosai. Now Neva was exceed, exceeding great city for three days' journey. So first I want. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, that guy's keep, I'm not gonna do hell right now, man. I just wanna say that, basically, if most I command you to be a preacher, man, you're gonna be a preacher. You're gonna preach, you're gonna, you're gonna be a prophet, you're gonna be a prophet, man. Joe went through all of that. You just be told the same thing. All that could have been avoided, man. All that hell and shit like that. Could have been avoided if Jonah just went up and preaching about forces through more, more through the most high's will. As simply as that, man. Yeah, because you can't escape being a mess, being the most high messenger. You can't. And I prove it now too in another another chapter. This is Jeremiah one. In verse four, then the then the word of the Most High came to me, saying, "Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou hast came forth out of thy womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee prophet unto the nations." Then I speak, Ah, you have a power. Behold, I cannot speak, but for I am a child. But the faces, but the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee. Whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. You can't be escape being a most high prophet, man. You can't escape that. If most high wants to be a messenger, you're gonna be a messenger in most high. Simple as that, man. With that, I hope it'll help us edify so that if you're ordained to teach his word, you're not gonna escape it, man. Now I'm gonna go up and go to Yahweh, Shemesh, Kakadash, next time I'm gonna tell him.